Hello, everybody. Uh, so this week today, I thought I would uh, address a little bit of the hubbub that happened last week, uh, both with Sessler Something and our Dead Space 3 review. Uh, they were sponsored by uh, the nice people over at Slim Jim. And uh, sort of inadvertently, the billboard, the ad that we put up, included an EA logo. And it just so happened it was in front of an EA game review. And I happened to do a Sessler Something that also addressed uh, matters surrounding EA, where I was uh, slightly defending them, uh, though I don't think I've ever done a full-throated defense of EA, and nor do I ever expect to. Here, here's what happened. I might as well explain. We have a sponsorship with Slim Jim. Slim Jim has a relationship with Electronic Arts and Encode Giveaway, and uh, when we read that part, the VO that goes, this was brought to you by Slim Jim, we were sort of unaware of the fact that the EA logo was going to be there. And when we did discover it, which was at the end of the day, when we had finished editing them and they were about to post, well, the phrase is, the horses were out of the barn. It was something that we uh, kind of knew might get a reaction and we just kind of had to hunker down and live with it. So just to reiterate, we did not receive money from EA and uh, obviously I regret everything that happened. And it was also a very instructive experience. Uh, I am slightly new to this wide world of the internet and uh, I take you know, responsibility for that and uh, you, you, you have my, uh, if not apologies, my awareness. What this incident was instructive of is something I've seen for all the years that I've been uh, covering video games, especially when it comes to the internet, which is a sense of suspicion. And sometimes it turns into outright paranoia. And it always seems to take events and puts them into a very clear narrative of sort of evil game publishers and questionable game journalists. This obviously kind of uh, boiled over uh, last year towards the end, right around the time I was starting here, when there were some incidents involving the assumed lack of integrity of certain journalists out there. Um, I've been doing this a very long time. I have, there are many people I know that are my colleagues and they've never struck me as being unethical in any way. And obviously, yes, there's advertising that comes from game companies because if like you open up a copy of Car and Driver, you're gonna see ads for cars because you kind of know what the interest of the reader might be. So the same thing happens obviously in the video game industry. You see ads that are endemic to the content of what's on that site. Uh, I, I don't know about quid pro quo that happens in other places. What I can tell you is that we are going to be very, very ethical here. And the best way to be ethical is to be ethical. But back to the narrative part of this and the way people regard it. It reminded me of something I learned back in college. There was a study done of uh, witness testimony during the Elizabethan era in England and how the way that people describe the events in a court case of something that they bore witness to really matched the same narrative form of the, the current plays and storytelling that was happening in that time. And that there's a kind of a way that we get seduced into looking at things in that type of structure. And so when I look at sort of the, the let's not call them ravings, but the, uh, the, 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 the way people seem to view the gaming world is something that seems to be so odious, that is so colluded and is so kind of you know, mean-spirited in what their intentions are. I, I, I do wonder, and I ask you guys out there, what's, what's behind it? What is behind sort of our lack of trust in language, our lack of trust in any kind of organized entity out there. I have this too, just not with video games. I have it with government and corporations. And you know, it, it, it kind of leads me to uh, say things that I feel are very truthful that probably I shouldn't say. Go check out my Twitter feed if you want to see evidence of that. It's just kind of disheartening. There's so many cool things that we can talk about with video games, but everything always seems to get sidetracked into the sense that there's some sort of dark intention and that trying to uncover whatever that darkness is becomes the, the, the point of contest and not sort of understanding what's so remarkable and interesting and fascinating about this emerging creative form. I just have to say, I just, I, I love what I'm doing here now and to do anything that might violate the trust between me and you guys out there is something I take very, very seriously. And so uh, let's just say, yeah, this is the honest truth and you're gonna be getting it.